The production function is given by Q equals K raised to the 0.6 times L raised to the 0.4. The price of labor is 1,141 and the cost of capital is 10%. What is the minimum cost of producing 100 units of output? Well, to minimize, we're going to set the marginal product of labor divided by the wage rate equal to the marginal product of capital divided by the cost of capital. This is our equal bang for buck condition. This is our optimization condition because to maximize profit, we want to minimize cost. So the marginal product of capital is simply the partial derivative of the production function with respect to capital. When we do that, we're going to treat labor as a constant. So L to the 0.4 is just going to be our coefficient and K is our variable here. Well, the variable's exponent is multiplied by the coefficient, so 0.6 comes down in front of L to the 0.4, and the K to the 0.6, we subtract one from the exponent and it becomes K to the negative 0.4. Well, a K to the negative 0.4 in the numerator is the same thing as a K to the 0.4 in the denominator, a positive 0.4. So we can do that and we'll have L to the positive 0.4 divided by K to the 0.4 so both the numerator and the denominator are raised to the same exponent. Therefore, we can move the exponent outside of the parentheses and simplify like this. Taking the derivative of the production function with respect to L will give us the marginal product of labor. And this works out pretty similarly as the marginal product of capital, just with the different variables and the different numbers. We can simplify this to be 0.4 times K divided by L all raised to the 0.6. Now that we've solved for the marginal product of capital and the marginal product of labor, we can go back to our equal bang for buck formula where R equals 0.1 and W equals 1,141. So we plug in all our components and now we're gonna have to do a little math. So you wanna be, be careful here that you don't make any mistakes because this is, there's a lot of steps involved. We're gonna cross multiply and we're gonna get 1,141 all multiplied by the 0.6 times L divided by K raised to the 0.4 that's going to equal the 0.1 times 0.4 times k divided by L raised to the 0.6. So we can simplify. Now we can divide through by 0.04. And from here, we have to get a little creative. We see that we have these weird fractions on each side raised to the exponent. Well, the simplest way to take care of this is on one side, cancel out our variables. So let's take the left side, for instance. We have L divided by k raised to the 0.4. So how do we cancel that? Well, we multiply it by the reciprocal, which will be K divided by L raised to the 0.4. If we do something to one side of the equation, we have to do it to both sides of the equation. So we do that and we see that on the left side, that, that's just gonna cancel. And on the right side, something very nice is gonna happen. It's gonna simplify very nice. So let's look at how. Like on the left side, we said it cancels out. Well, on the right side, we had a K raised to the 0.6 in the numerator multiplied by a k raised to the 0.4 in the numerator, that just gives us k in the numerator because we add those exponents. exponents. 0.6 plus 0.4 gives us one, which is just k. And in the denominator, we had an L to the 0.6. We multiplied that by an L to the 0.4 in the denominator. Likewise, we just get L in the denominator. So this worked out really nice. We can simplify this one step further by multiplying each side by L and we solve for K in terms of L. So we get 17,115 L is equal to K. This is our optimal combination of both labor and capital. Now that we have this, we know we wanna minimize the cost of producing 100 units. So we're gonna go back to our production function, plugging in 100 for Q. So Q equaled K to the 0.6 times L to the 0.4. Well, we know that K is just equal to 17,115 L. So we can plug that in. We need to simplify this. We need to raise 17,115 to the 0.6. And the L to the 0.6 times the L to the 0.4 is just going to give us L. We can now divide through and we find that L is equal to 0.2883858. So solving for K is pretty easy. We already have a function for K. We just plug in L. And we find that K is equal to 4,935.722967. So now we've solved for how much capital we're gonna use and how much labor we're gonna use. Solving for our cost is pretty easy. We just know that our total cost is equal to the amount of labor we use times the price of labor, which is just W, the wage rate, plus the amount of capital we use times the cost of capital, which is R. We plug in all our components 
And in this case, we see that the minimum cost of producing those 100 units is $822.62.